Week 21 Day 1 Locked in an ivory edifice Prince Siddhartha Gautama was the scion of a family of warrior kings in northern India. He was being indoctrinated for the time, when he would assume his father's throne. Growing up in an atmosphere of opulence, the young prince was constantly shielded from the cruel realities of the world. An army of obsequious servants and tutors catered to his every desire, providing Siddhartha with instruction in riding, fencing, dancing, and painting, while lavishing fulsome praise upon him. It wasn't until the prince was 30 that he took the first step that led to his becoming the Buddha, one of the world's greatest spiritual leaders. Sample Sentences 1. It was not until the wreckers began to dismantle the old edifice that they discovered its real opulence. 2. As the scion of a family of wealthy bankers, Rothschild never had to face the vicissitudes of life. 3. Uriah Heap's obsequious manner nettled all but the most gullible. 4. In order to indoctrinate the captive, his jailers repeatedly reviled capitalism while praising communism. 5. The actress received fulsome compliments from her friends but trenchant criticism from the reviewers. Week 21 Day 2 Siddhartha's eyes are opened. One day, Prince Siddhartha expressed the desire to leave his lush surroundings and ride out among his people. He was profoundly shaken by the misery, destitution, disease, and excruciating pain with which his people were constantly afflicted. Retiring to his room to ponder over what he had seen, he remained there for several days, deaf to the supplication of those who pleaded with him to come forth. It seemed to Siddhartha that his life had been redolent with decadence, and he was determined to make amends. Sample Sentences 1. The lush stage setting drew applause from the theater buffs. 2. In the hospital, the alcoholic had time to ponder over the need to be abstemious. 3. As the traveler followed the tortuous path up the Kentucky mountain, he was sickened by the destitution which he saw. 4. Through supplication, the fraternity head hoped to end the strife among the members. 5. Rumors of Rome's decadence were rife among the barbarian tribes. Week 21 Day 3 The Enlightened One Siddhartha exchanged his sumptuous garments for a monk's yellow robe and went out into the world to do penance for what he considered to be his previous life of sin. First he would cleanse himself by becoming an ascetic. Then he would study Hindu wisdom in order to be prepared to help his suffering people. After six years of desultory wandering and attracting only a handful of disciples, Siddhartha came to a huge tree near the Indian city of Gaya. For seven weeks he sat beneath its branches, seeking an answer for his personal torment. Finally, it is said, he underwent a metamorphosis, becoming the Enlightened One. The Buddha. Sample Sentences 1. Billy the Vampire is the only extant disciple of Count Dracula. 2. In a remarkable metamorphosis, her lugubrious mood changed to one of levity. 3. Following a lengthy diatribe against mendacity, the priest imposed penance upon the sinner. 4. The cave of the ascetic lacked the opulence and lush decoration of his former mansion. 5. Larry's compositions proceed in a desultory manner despite the supplication of his English teacher. Week 21 Day 4 Love over hatred, goodness over evil. Buddha outlined the three paths that men might travel. Worldly pleasure, self-torment, and the middle path. Only through the middle path could man achieve bona fide peace and salvation. One had to repudiate materialism, keep his self-control, restrict speech, be open-minded, never lie or steal, reject selfish drives, nurture goodness, etc. Buddha continued to preach until the age of 80, spreading the philosophy that man has the power to shape his own destiny. Through good deeds and pure thoughts man may reach nirvana. Interestingly enough, the man who objected to traditional religious worship was to become idolized by millions throughout the world. Sample Sentences 1. In order to nurture goodwill, the management will do anything to accommodate its guests' special needs. 2. When we saw the hundreds of bona fide petitions, we realized that the number of people who supported the candidate was legion. 3. The megalomaniac believed that he alone had the answer to mankind's salvation. 4. Rosalie found solace in the conviction that one day mankind would reach Shangri-La, Utopia, Nirvana. 
5. Disciples of materialism may know the price of everything but the value of nothing.